Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to solve one very interesting question from algebra. So let's get started straight away. Given that x cannot be negative 1 as it will generate indeterminate form in left hand side. Now we have x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So to remove these two brackets from the numerator, first of all I will multiply by minus 1 both sides. So I can write minus of x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 over x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 2 whole power 5 And in RHS, we will write minus of 33 over 65. Now I will add 1 to both sides. So let me write here 1 and this side also we will write 1. Once we will take LCM both sides, we will get x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 2 whole power 5. So these two common brackets will get over. I will get only 2x plus 2 whole power 5 in the numerator. And in denominator, we will write x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 2 whole power 5. RHS would be 65 minus 32 in the numerator. So we can write 32 in the numerator. Denominator will be 65. Now I can take 2 common from this bracket. So we will get 2 power 5 as a multiplier. I will write 32. 2 power 5 is 32. In the bracket x plus 1 whole power 5 over x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 2 whole power 5 equal to 32 over 65. Now we will divide both sides by 32. So this 32 will be cancelled out. Numerator will be 1 in RHS. Now I can write our equation here. x plus 1 whole power 5 over x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 2 whole power 5 this will be equal to 1 over 65. Now x cannot be equal to negative 1. So I can switch numerator and denominator. So I will write x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 2 whole power 5 over x plus 1 whole power 5. Right hand side, if we will consider reciprocal, I will write here 65. Now we will split numerator brackets with respect to denominator. We will get x plus 2 over x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 whole power 5. Then we will write 2x plus 2. So let me take 2 common over there. In bracket x plus 1 whole power 5 over x plus 1 whole power 5. RHS is 65. Now we will cancel these two brackets. Now 2 power 5 is 32 which we will take to the RHS. So finally we can write our equation 
x plus 2 over x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 whole power 5. This will be equal to 65 minus 32 which is equal to 33. Now we will use substitutions. So let us write equation 1. Here it is. Now we will consider this bracket only equal to A and let's say this bracket is B. So first equation which we can write immediately A power 5 plus B power 5 equal to 33. Now we will calculate the value of expression A plus B. So let me write here A plus B. This will be equal to X plus 2 over X plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1. So denominator is same. We will write common denominator x plus 1. Simply add numerators x plus 2 plus 2x plus 1. So I can write 3x plus 3. So 3 is common. In bracket we can write x plus 1 over x plus 1. So x plus 1 will be cancelled out. We will get a plus b equal to 3. a plus b equal to 3. Now we have to solve this new system of equations. This is our second equation. Now I will use one algebraic formula. I will write here a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. Equation 1 a plus b equal to 3 equation 2. Now I will use formula a plus b whole cube. So this will be equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. So in place of a cube plus b cube this is we are looking for a plus b is 3, so I will write here 3 cube plus 3 times this is 3, so I can write 9ab. So the value of required expression a cube plus b cube will be 3 cube minus 9ab or if I will take 9 common out, so I can write 3 minus ab. Now we will use binomial expansion for a plus b whole power 5. If I will write here, I will write a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5 times ab in bracket a cube plus b cube plus 10 times a square b square times a plus b. Now we have to apply all the values. a plus b was 3, so LHS will be 3 power 5. a power 5 plus b power 5, equation number 1, 33. So I will write here 33 plus 5ab, a cube plus b cube, 9 times, let me write, 9 times in the bracket 3 minus ab plus 10 times a square b square a plus b it is our equation number 2 I will write here 3. Our equation is divisible by 3. So let's divide this equation by 3. LHS will be 3 power 5 over 3. RHS will be 33 over 3. Here I will divide by 3. Here I will divide by 3. So we can write 3 power 4 will be in LHS which is 81. Here I will write 33 over 3 11 plus 5ab times 9 over 3 is 3. 3 minus ab. 3 over 3 will be 1. So we will write 10a square b square. Now 81 minus 11 will be 70. I will write 70 equal to 
फाइव टाइम्स थ्री फिफ्टीन सो लेट मी राइट हेयर फिफ्टीन ए बी एन ब्रैकेट थ्री माइनस ए बी देन वील राइट टेन ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर नाउ आई विल एक्सपेंड और सिंप्लीफाई अवर आर एच एस सो आई कैन राइट ओवर देयर सेवेंटी इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव ए बी माइनस फाइव ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर equation is divisible by 5 so we will divide both sides by 5 we will get 14 equal to 9ab minus a square b square or i can write our quadratic equation in ab as a square b square minus 9ab plus 14 equal to 0 i can see the factors of 14 as 2 times 7 so we will use method of factorization and we will factor as ab minus 2 ab minus 7 equal to 0 using product zero rule we will get ab equal to 2 and ab equal to 7 now if i will write our second equation a plus b equal to 3 so from here i can write the value of b in terms of a As three minus a, so I can write a times three minus a equal to two and seven, or I can write three a minus a square equal to two and seven. So I can consider three a minus a square equal to two. Our first equation, three a minus a square equal to seven. so we will get two quadratic equations take all the terms to one side a square minus 3a plus 2 equal to 0 and second equation would be a square minus 3a plus 7 equal to 0 now if i will factor first equation means factorization of 2 1 and 2 so i can write directly a minus 1 times a minus 2 Equal to zero. So from here we'll be having a equal to one and a equal to two. Now we will solve second quadratic a square minus three a plus seven equal to zero. A square minus three a plus seven equal to zero. Let's use quadratic formula. A will be equal to minus b. B is minus three already, so minus of minus three plus minus is square root of minus three is square minus four times one times seven over two times one. So this will be equal to three plus minus is square root of minus three is square is nine minus four times seven is twenty eight over two. This will be equal to three plus minus the square root of twenty-eight minus nine. I can write nineteen over two. Now, square root of minus one is i. So I can write the value of a will be three plus minus i times the square root nineteen over two. So we have. A equal to one, A equal to two, and A equal to three plus minus I root nineteen over two. Now A was our substitution x plus two over x plus one. So I will write here x plus two over x plus one equal to one. X plus two over x plus one equal to two. if i will cross multiply then i will get from first equation from this one i will get x plus 2 equal to x plus 1 x and x will be over 2 equal to 1 means it is not possible so we will write no solutions or no solution we will get from here 
Now we will solve second equation x plus 2. Let's cross multiply 2 times x plus 1. This equation. We will write x plus 2 in the LHS. RHS would be 2x plus 2. x will come right. This 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. We will get x equal to 0. Which is our first real solution. x equal to 0. Now I will consider the complex A. 3 plus minus i square root 2 over 2. Let me write here. 3 plus minus i square root 19 over 2. In place of a, we will write x plus 2 over x plus 1. This is our a. Now I will simplify first. x plus 2 over x plus 1. We can write here. This is x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. Now I will split x plus 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. So this will be equal to 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. Let me write here. I will write 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 equal to 3 plus minus i root 19 over 2. Let's subtract 1 from both the sides. We will get 1 over x plus 1 will be equal to 3 plus minus i root 19 over 2 minus 1. So finally, 1 over x plus 1 will be equal to 1 plus minus i square root 19 over 2. Now we have to calculate x. So we will consider reciprocal both sides. So I will write x plus 1 after considering reciprocal. And here I will write 2 over 1 plus minus i times e square root 19. Now we will consider rationalization. So in numerator and denominator, we will multiply with 1 minus plus i root 19. Here also I will write 1 minus plus i times a square root of 19. This will be equal to, let me write here, x plus 1 equal to, numerator will be 2 times in bracket 1 minus plus i times a square root 19. And denominator will be a plus b times a minus b, we will consider a square minus b square. So, we will be getting 1 plus a square of root 19. So, I will write 19 only. So, this will become 2 times 1 minus plus i times a square root 19 over 20. So, we can cancel 20 by 2. So, it will be 10 here. I will write x plus 1 will be 1 plus minus i times a square root 19 over 10. Now we have to subtract 1 to collect our final complex solutions. So x will be equal to, I will write here 1 plus minus i times a square root 19 over 10 minus 1. So 1 minus 10 is minus 9. So I can write x equal to minus 9 plus minus i times a square root 19 over 10. So we have two complex solutions and one real solution. Real solution is x equal to 0 and complex solutions are here. And this brings the end of the video. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to hype, like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.